Whenever I see him make a play. I'm now. making a point to you. <laughs> you your, your, your guys up front aren't as good, and you don't have the depth. What's your way out? There is no way See, out. that's just it. The fact that, you know what? Blake Corm goes down. Donovan Hand is hurt. You went to a linebacker who really didn't play the position, who threw a jump pass against Ohio State. Great trick play, but you didn't have the depth that you should. Stokes, nah. He came out and fumbled against Maryland and really never saw the ball ever since. Is uh, DJ Turner's out too, right? He's probably, I believe he's officially out. He's probably a third-round yes. pick if he comes out. That's an NFL player. So you lose the big three up front. You lose DJ Turner. Jesus. So that's yeah, that's that's the depth that you can't just All right. Georgia can lose Jordan Davis and then they just oh wait we just replaced him with the number one pick in the draft. Those are facts. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. We'll get more of your calls next. Let's talk for a minute about one of the nation's best breweries. It's in your backyard. It's Old Nation. Look for years. Old Nation's recognized uh, the king of the IPA landscape with the M forty three New England IPA. But don't sleep on their lighter beers. The new Low Orbit. Half the half the ABV, so you can you know stay upright watching your favorite team uh, lose to TCU. But look, bottom line, they've got a complete lineup, and you know summertime is shandy season, and God willing, summer will get here soon. Old Nation has you covered. Wherever you buy your beer, stop by, grab a four pack. It's Old Nation Brewery, famously approachable, dangerously drinkable. Please drink responsibly. <laughs> Premium Audio. The combination of thoughtful design, constant innovation, and premium materials creates the ultimate listening experience. Your music has never sounded so good. Klitsch. Keepers of the sound. prices at an all-time high, our donors are now getting highest receipts ever. Donate at carsforkids.org and your car can be picked up tomorrow. If you own a business, this has been a bumpy ride. From pandemic to inflation, I'm sure you could use a break. If your business has five or more employees and survived COVID, you might be eligible to receive a payroll tax refund of up to $26,000 per employee. The challenge is getting your hands on it. Hi, I'm Howard Mackler, and that's why I founded GetRefunds.com to cut through the red tape and get you the money. The team of tax attorneys we have put together are highly trained in this little-known payroll tax refund program. We do all the work, charge not a dime up front, and simply share a percentage of the cash that we get for you. Businesses of all types can qualify, including those that took PPP, nonprofits, and even those that increases in sales. We have helped return over a billion dollars to businesses, and we can help you too. Just go to GetRefunds.com slash sports, click on Qualify Me, and answer a few questions. This payroll tax refund is only available for a limited period of time. Don't lose out on up to $26,000 per employee. Go to GetRefunds.com slash sports. That's GetRefunds.com slash sports. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Tonight, overcast, low 33. Weather brought to you by Staples. Staples stores are a new world of possible with innovative tools for small business and remote workers and learners. Explore more at your local Staples store or staplesconnect.com. Let your voice be heard. Call the D Las Vegas 97 won the ticket studio line at 248-539-9797. The D Las Vegas, your home for Detroit sports in Vegas. Roxanne Watson is on a mission. Hello, how are you doing today? She wants more people to register as organ, eye, and tissue donors. Are you an organ donor? Yes, I am. Yay! Yay. My goal is to sign up the most people in the United States. <laughs> what drives her? Roxanne's own life was saved through the gift of a heart transplant, made possible by an organ donor. I decided that day that I was going to devote myself to the cause of organ donation and signing people up and honoring my donor by doing that. 
Now she's back to health, and she's a powerful force, helping to save lives every day through her work. Imagine what you can make possible by leaving behind the gift of life. Eight people can be helped with the major organs, and up to 50 people can be helped with a little bit of everything. And when you think about it that way, that you could help that many people, it's amazing, it really is. Learn more and sign up as an organ, eye, and tissue donor. Go to organdonor.gov. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Health Resources and Services Administration. The Detroit Pistons play the Philadelphia 76ers. Free game time at 7.05 on News Radio 950 WWJ. David, a couple ticket texts and we go right to the phones. We've still got to get into the Harbaugh update, the Denver interview. And, and really whether anybody cares. It's, it's a bizarre situation to me. I think we can all agree he should go back. He should stay in Michigan. He, he's got a great shot to win the Big Ten again. But then again, Harbaugh himself probably watched last night, knowing full well I'm never beating that team. I don't have these players. And oh, by the way, his active pursuit of the NFL each of the last three years is slowly eroding his ability to recruit those players. So, yeah, it's kind of unprecedented. It's a mess. Yeah. Regarding the Lions' better ending, somebody texted in, for the Packers, that was a playoff game. So I feel the young core got that experience in Week 18. Someone else says, I'll take it. You were a couple wins away from the playoffs. I'm completely satisfied with the pick and, in my opinion, establishing that you will be a team to beat for the division next season. Best outcome was what happened. They were in a playoff-like game. This wasn't the year to win it all. Our draft pick is much better statistically thinking it was the best move. That is from fan. He said, call yeah, himself the lion. Well, listen, it's easier to come to that conclusion a few days later. That's tough when the emotion's high Sunday night and into, <clears throat> into Monday. Yep, you, you're thinking, you know what, I don't care about a pick. But long term, you will care about that pick. Let's go to Brad, 97.1. Hi, Brad, how you doing, buddy? Hey, good, great show as usual. Thanks, bud. What's up? What do you got? Yep. Okay, Mike, I don't get it. Okay? But maybe you can help explain it to me. <laughs> all right? Okay. There's a Michigan or an Ohio State fan. I'm a, I am a Big Ten alum anyways. But anyways, all right. all right. You're Michigan. You house Ohio State. You play a weak-ass Purdue team and win. Okay? And then you go to TC. You think you're the smartest guy in the room, and you look stupid on national TV. Okay, we have that there. All right. You're Ohio State. Granted, you got housed at home by Michigan. You still got in to the Final Four. All right. And you're one point. You're one stupid kicker. You're one five-month hamstring injury. Hmm. And you're one targeting penalty away from your best player getting knocked out. And you lose to Georgia by one point, which everybody's going to remember. Anybody can remember Ohio State losing to Michigan? Who had the better season? Ohio State. No, oh, I, I I still say uh, Michigan, Michigan based on two things, and and understand it. A beating your rival matters to me, and B they have a Big Ten title trophy and, and OSU doesn't. So for yeah. me, I'd say Michigan. And Brad, I'll even simplify it. Ohio State's best victories are losses. That means you weren't that good of a team. Their best well, victory is a loss enough, to but... Georgia. By one point and three factors that actually, unfortunately, were out of their control. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. I just, I can't work around. Look, I'm old school. And you know what, Brad? Maybe there's no place for me anymore. But I value winning the conference. And Michigan has that. Stop so, it. you know. Fair, fair enough. I guess from more, I guess what I'm saying is more from a, a country status, for lack of a better phrase. Who's gonna Who's gonna think who had the better season? Who's gonna remember it for? Oh are the no, no, no! Around the nation, or are the recruits gonna think Ohio State, or are they gonna think Michigan? Well, I think the recruits are gonna think Ohio State because they're gonna walk in there, and I'm sure if you're the Ryan Day, hey, we were in, everything that you said, Brad, makes sense when you go on the recruiting trail nationally. Yeah, because they saw you competed with Georgia, TCU didn't, so you're kind of the de facto runner-up. But, yeah, Ohio State's best victory is a Georgia loss. Or beating Penn State, which, okay, great. I'm sorry. I just can't get there with Penn State. I just can't. I feel like James Franklin wins every game he should win, and then he goes to these big games, and he does something dumb, and they lose. Right, because they don't consistently beat Michigan or Ohio State. 
By the way, in the same year. By the way, like everyone wants to write Alabama's obituary. Um, do you know how many five-star players they've brought in in this oh, recruiting cycle? I'm not. Say seven. Well, no, maybe? Kenny's writing. Seven five-star guys in yeah. one class. Seven. Michigan has two on their whole roster. Seven. Seven, and they can still cherry pick some of the best players in the transfer board. Georgia has a class that is 26 players large. Two five stars, 24 stars. Okay, so let me let me scroll down here. I don't want to find U of M. U of M's listed at 17th. No five stars, nine three stars. 14 three star players. 14. 23 man recruiting class. Wait, how many four star players? Nine. Nine. Okay. Out of 23. The other 14 are three star players. No five stars. None. He got out recruited by South Carolina. People want to play with Spencer Rattler. No, they got the new it coach. So I mean, MSU's got a tiny class. They only brought in 15 kids, but they brought in the same amount of four stars as U of M. There is no way Michigan State should be on par with you for high-level players. It just shouldn't happen. You've gone to the playoff back-to-back -back years. You're beating OSU. But you know what? This is why I say... Rather than being on the phone with Denver and Carolina, right. you need to be on the phone with some of these kids to lock them up to come play at Michigan. And this is you, a celebration. Then you don't have to put your the linebacker that didn't work out in the linebacking room as your new de facto running back, your goal linebacker. Yeah. Great example. I get it. LSU's class is the same size as U of M's. One five-star, 18 four-stars. Double. Like, again, it's just guys... This is your issue. You're not getting the players. <laughs> okay, we've lost David. <laughs> David. David, I'm just, I'm trying to, now, I always defer to Rico on all recruiting thing, but like, this is real. I'm not making it up. This is so upsetting. <laughs> the time for celebration. It's a time to go out there and use what you've done David, and grab time. the recruits. It's poor time. It is It is absolutely poor timing because this is where, yeah, you know what? You make those calls and, you, you know, here's the li dirty little secret. You don't make the calls from your phone because I don't know what the recruiting rules are, but it just so happened that the parent of somebody has star recruit little David Hall Jr. on the other line FaceTiming. Hey, let me hand the phone over to Coach. Hey, Coach. Hey, we're here celebrating it. Junior, you come come play for us, right? Yeah, Coach. You're you're talking. You're actively trying to get out, and then you expect players to buy in. It doesn't work that way. It, <laughs> offered me a scholarship. Hello. Hi, Mike. Hello. Um, I don't know if I should open the garage door or just leave the front door open. Ricky's meatloaf is in the oven and everything you need to make spaghetti is out. Um, the, the, um, the mushrooms are clean and they're dry. So don't get them wet again. Oh. I washed them. Alrighty. Do you want me to open the garage? No, we'll go through the front door. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah, just just don't get the mushrooms wet. They're all clean. Yep, I won't. They're dry. Okay. Got you. Okay. Alright, we'll see you in just a few. And there's water in the noodle pot. And I got both noodles out. All you have are shells and fettuccine. Okay. Okay. Figures. There might be spaghetti noodles up there. You can check. I just can't see that high. I'll take a look. Okay. What would you like? <laughs> Mike. I just am having, I have a stomach ache, and I just really don't feel like eating. Yeah, but when, if you did feel like eating, what kind would you like? 
Yes. We're gonna have this for like two days, three days. Maybe a little bit of a small container of macaroni and cheese from that grill. Gotcha. Or I could have a grilled ham and cheese later. I'll get you some mac and cheese. me to start browning the meat? Nope, I'll do it when I get there. So I gotta cut it's, the onions up. Well, I'm thinking I should put it in the microwave for a minute. It's still kind of froze. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Okay. And Ricky's meatloaf has about 50, about 48 minutes on it. Okay. Will you be home in 48 minutes? Yep, I'll probably be home in 20. We okay. Stop and get mac and cheese and then stop and get cigarettes. Okay. And remind me to give you money. I'll get it out right now. We'll, we'll see you in probably about 20 minutes. Okay. All right. from the smoke shop. BetMGM, an authorized gaming partner of the NBA, place an NBA one-game parlay wager with four legs or more, and if one of your legs misses, don't worry about it, you'll receive up to $25 back. Just opt into this promotion on BetMGM's app or website. With one-game parlay, you can make selections within a single game from tons of bet types, including player and team props. So go ahead, take your favorite NBA star to score big, the home team to cover, and the over in points. Opt into the promotion, then place an NBA one game parlay wager on four legs or more. That's important, and you'll receive up to 25 bucks back if you miss one leg. Visit betmgm.com for terms and conditions. You must be 21 years of age or older to wager. Michigan only. All promotions subject to qualification and eligibility requirements. Rewards issued as non withdrawable free bets or site credit. Free bets expire seven days from issuance. Gambling problem call 1 800 270 7117 for confidential help. Excludes Michigan disassociated persons. Every small business owner knows business happens everywhere. The office, the warehouse, or on the road. And no matter where it takes you, there's one solution to help your business thrive. Comcast Business Complete Connectivity. It's the largest, fastest, reliable network with advanced gig speed Wi-Fi and cyber threat protection in one solution. Plus, add Comcast Business Mobile and you can save up to 60% a year on your wireless bill. Get started for just $40 a month for 12 months with no annual contract when you add mobile. And ask how to get up to a $750 prepaid card. Like Yep, you're going places, and when you get there, be ready to do business. The complete connectivity solution from the company that powers more small businesses than any other provider. Comcast Business, powering possibilities. Ends 2 2023 Restricted supply. Requires Ecoville and AutoPay. New 100 megabits per second internet. And Comcast Business Security Edge customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra. After 12 months, regular rate supply. Gig internet required for gig Wi-Fi. Mobile savings compares pricing of top three carriers. How could my nose be running when it stays on my face? I love my nose. Ooh, I feel cookie. 
Our noses, no. If those sniffles are just a cold, allergies, or COVID-19. So if you're wondering about your child's symptoms, swab and test their nose to get answers. It's good to know. Find testing information and resources at michigan.gov slash COVID test. A message from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. I'm Bob Burke, founder and chairman of Burke America Parts Group, a family of brands that includes repairclinic.com, an appliance and HVAC parts solution company that's grown into an international brand. Before AmericanEagle.com, we partially launched a new technology platform developed by another firm. American Eagle helped take our technology to a whole new level with digital marketing, software development, and business insights into our key markets, appliances, HVAC, and outdoor power equipment, and did so both on time and on budget. AmericanEagle.com has the resources, experience, and talent needed to produce solutions. Our new technology platform developed by AmericanEagle.com has produced tremendous results with higher traffic, conversion, engagement, and online revenue. If you have any home repairs you need to take care of, check us out at RepairClinic.com. If you need a world-class website or technology project, then I would highly recommend AmericanEagle.com. Call AmericanEagle.com at 773-NETWORK. That's AmericanEagle.com, 773-NETWORK. Voice News, all day, every day. This is 97.1 The Ticket. Sponsored by Cure Auto Insurance. Michigan finished third in the final AP College Football Poll of the season. The Wolverines have the fourth best national championship odds entering next season. The top odds, no surprise, lie with Georgia. Coming off a 65-7 win over TCU during last night's title game. The largest margin of victory in championship game history. Staying with the Wolverines, head coach Jim Harbaugh officially interviewed for the Denver Broncos head coaching opening earlier today. The NFL Network reports that the virtual interview lasted two hours and Harbaugh is considered to be a top candidate for the job. Other contenders are former Saints coach Sean Payton, Cowboys defensive coordinator Dan Quinn, and Niners defensive coordinator D'Amico Ryans. The names of both Lions coordinators are also popping up in head coaching searches. The Texans, Colts, and Panthers have requested to interview offensive coordinator Ben Johnson. Indianapolis is also seeking permission to interview defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn. Johnson's offense finished in the top five in both yards and points this season, while Glenn has previously interviewed for three head coaching jobs. Potential Lions free agent target Ravens linebacker Roquan Smith has re-signed in Baltimore for five years and $100 million. The deal includes $60 million in total guarantees. I'm Luke Sloan. More at 5 o'clock or at 97 on the ticket.com. Now, text or call the ticket using the same number. Ticket text 248 539 Uh, by the way, uh, David, I know this wasn't in football today, and we're going to get to the callers. Boy, Zach Wilson really doesn't get it, does he? Zach, did you see the Jets quarterback his comment today? <laughs> no, I haven't seen it. What if the lady. Jets sign a veteran quarterback? I'm going to make his life hell every day in practice. Yeah, so, Zach, let me just pull you aside. Watch you here. No, you got to admire the confidence. Oh, and then you got his mom, blasting fans, team, and it, I it just... A small market team has got to trade for that kid and rehabilitate him. It'll never work. Anymore. No, the moment is too big. New York is too big for him. Yes, you're right. Crazy. If he's in a place like Seattle, he's insulated, something, yeah. he would be fine. Hell, put him in L.A. Nobody knows he's there. Honestly, yo, where is he? He goes to, I don't know if they would do it again, but he goes to Carolina. Isolated place, he would be fine. You go to Atlanta, that's with this relocation. <laughs> Can I give you something real quick here? Because, I mean, I have a big one. I think this was all expected here, but the numbers have come oh, out for last God. night's uh, yeah, championship it looks game. pretty crowded. Uh, by 15-minute intervals, so we can kind of tell what you think I'm about to give you here. 8 o'clock, it was at 20 million. That was the highest, 20 million viewers. Um, and it goes to about 20, 19, 16 by 9, 15. Two. It did jump. It was at 15 and 9.30. It jumped to 16 and 9.45, which was the trailer. The Ant-Man trailer came That was the trailer. The I know the you don't quarter. care about this, Mike. But that was a big deal. That was the only reason I was sticking around. Like, <clears throat> will they just play the trailer so I could turn this game on? The committee got what they deserved. They got what they deserved. Their national title game 
was a joke. It should have been Georgia TCU, Michigan OSU. They tinkered. I told you this before the games were played. But Ridiculous. Here's the, but here's the thing. I thought maybe they had it because we were all patting them on the back. The semifinal games have never been this good. Ever. The final game, not so much. The final game felt like most semifinal years where one plays four. And I think we now see who should have been four was TCU. So by the time they were eating chicken on the sideline, it was at 11 million. So, you know. Kenny, nice. and that's about it. Two four eight five three now ninety seven ninety seven. Let's get to the people. We will go over to Tim out in Clarkston ninety seven one. Hi Tim, what's going on, buddy? Hey guys, great show today. I had a crazy Lions question for you guys. Sure, well, I'm down. Let's hear yeah. it. <laughs> well, with the with the Rams facing a rebuild now, kind of suddenly a complete rebuild. If you were Brad Holmes, would you trade that number six pick back to the Rams? For Jalen Ramsey, who's 28, makes $20 million a year. And Bobby Wagner, who's 32, makes $10 million a year. Maybe you have to throw in a future second or third. Would you consider that? If Les Snead would do it. All right. I'll play the game with you just because, well, this is what we do. Email. So I'll tell you yeah. right on surface. It begins and ends with whether Jalen Ramsey even wants to be here. Yeah. Okay. And if I he wanted to, like, to be here, I would do it. Yeah, th th there's no hesitation based on he is a game changer. What we know about Jalen Ramsey is the following. Uh, loves the spotlight, loves the big city, loves that L.A. market. I, I, I understand he doesn't want to be a part of a rebuild. But if you tell him, hi, you've been traded to Detroit, I don't know that he's going to take it the way Blake Griffin did. Now, if, if Rico's right, if, if you have his buy-in, and I got a guy who signed spitballing here through the 25 season, which means I get him next year, the year after, and the year after that. Three right. years of Ramsey versus five years of a rookie. Would I do it? Of course I would. Yeah, because you're close. You're <clears throat> you're on the verge of being a playoff team. A Ramsey now makes you, you start getting into that conversation of being a Super Bowl contending. Team. Now, the issue would be Jalen Ramsey, I think, is 28. You're towards yeah. the end. I'm not I'm not giving him an extension, and that creates a problem because he's going to bitch and moan. He's going to show up in a Brinks truck. I, you got to be careful and without knowing. Not your Patrick Peterson. You, no, yeah, exactly. You're, you're, it, by NFL standards, yeah, you're Morgan Freeman. Yeah. So, yeah, Tim, I, it's not crazy. Your mind is in the right place. I hear. I'll be up front. Welcome to our offseason, everybody. I'm not interested in using all my draft picks. I'm not interested in having... Five more young children to, to babysit if I'm Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell because I'm trying to win the North next year. That doesn't mean you, you have them picks. No, no, no. It, See, I, I think just the opposite, where you would start moving around unless it is somebody there. Now, you brought up a great point. Disgruntled player wants off their team. Right. Then, yes, I give up that number 18 pick to get that guy on the team. Right. But if that player doesn't exist or it's not a position of need for me, I'm taking the player. <clears throat> I'm taking all of those picks because that means you're in control of all the salary for the next three to five years of yeah. players. Hey, I'll give you another thing I would do. And fans are going to be upset with me, but whatever. I'm not in the business of making you happy. Like, I'll tell you right now, let's say this offseason. I don't think Cincinnati can pay T. Higgins. I'd give up the 18th pick for T. Higgins and Harpy. Okay. Big physical guy on one side, burner on the other in JMO, slot machine in Amon Ra, my 17 different tight ends. Yep. Guys, I, 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 I just being honest. And that's with what you. I said. Yeah, if you got a disgruntled player, I give up 18. But if that you're not giving it. up six. No. Okay. And I'm okay with that. Six would have to be something special. Yeah, let me give you an understanding here. Jalen, I mean, now, if you, you want to trade Lance, I'd, I'd make that trade. Okay. <laughs> Jalen Ramsey's guaranteed it's done after this season, which means he will want a contract. Yeah, and i got to be honest, David, I, I, I don't want to do that. Look, I don't know the guy. See, a guy like Jalen Ramsey, you got to know the player personally. you got to know exactly what we're doing here. Bit of a hothead. Mm -hmm. He can be a little bit of a loose cannon, a wild card on the field. Now, at his best... He's one of the few defensive backs that I think can be a game changer. Yeah, he is. But if I can look and see 
If I can't get him and, and there's a Joey Porter Jr. sitting there at 18, love. Keely Ringo, he's gone. No. He'll be gone. He's Shut gone your mouth. He's My gone. point is I like Ringo yeah. and Porter because they're both at least 6'2". Yeah. I get a little scared of like a 5. Like, you know why Hodges Tomlinson ain't going to be a first-round pick? He might be 5'8", the kid from DCU. He's a good college corner, really is. And he may be good in the NFL, but, but he's not tiny. first round. Yeah. I have a big one. A 6'2 corner. Uh, let's go over to Chad, 97-1. Chad, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Mikey, thanks for taking the call, Rico. Um, yeah, I don't think we would have lost, I said we had any Michigan, we would have lost to Georgia as bad as TCU did. TC lost by 58. Yeah, we were lost by 30. That makes everybody else feel better. Yeah, I mean, that's um, a chance. Right. Some of your fan base calls in. It's like, guys, no one's saying you'd lose by 60, but you're not beating that team. What are we doing here? Dude, dude. Like, I was so bummed. I w I've been so bummed for the last week. I'd be walking in the grocery store, you know, in a good mood, and then I'd see a block M, and I would automatically get depressed. It'd be like when you're reminded of your ex-girlfriend and you're trying to get over a breakup. Every block M I saw, I was like, ah. It would remind me of the game. And then I watched last night, and I was like, oh, yep. Yeah. So much for that. Like, because I felt like we blew this huge opportunity. And I realized watching last night, you know what? Georgia was not susceptible. And, Mike, I agree with you a little. Is, is Ohio State built to beat a team like Georgia but not us? Yes. But to some degree, after watching last night, I think I think they were almost sleepwalking. They didn't take Ohio State seriously. Maybe. Because if I think if they got to – I mean, because look at what that team no, did. You know what, Chad? Ohio State woke them up. No, no, Chad, here's what happened. Ohio State took that month and came up with a new strategy, and they went tempo. And they all of a sudden told C.J. Stroud, you are going to run the ball. They did things that they didn't show all season long. They caught Georgia by surprise. They used their month uh, they, very carefully and wisely. You mean like their coach came up with something more than just Philly special and that's your wrinkle that you Chad. came up with for a month? Chad, so here's my question to you. This is how we'll end it. Have you had enough of Harbaugh yet? I mean, what are we doing here with this NFL well, stuff? Well, you know, it's funny. Again, this ties into last night because part of me was starting to think, okay, Jim's taking this as far as he can take it. He's, see, and I try to explain to Michigan fans, Jim is not a guy like Day. Or he's just or really like Kiffin when he was at Bama. He's not going to see – you don't give him a month and he's going to find ways to, to be successful against a great defense because he's that good. That's not Jim. He's taking his thing as far as he's going to take it. So if we're going to go further, we're going to have to bring in someone else. But then after watching last night, I'm going, we're back to square one. Now, there is Are nowhere we to go. Gonna be able to comp There's nowhere to go. How do we compete with the SEC? You don't. I mean. And that's why I think we have a college football problem. Sure. You know, Rizzo and I slightly disagree. Well, it's no big deal. But that's where that. from him. I don't know, man. You can learn to be happy. Yeah. Crush the Big Ten. Crush Ohio State. Mm -hmm. Be a legend, live next to your pops. I don't know. But no, I mean, but college football's had this problem, man, for decades, man. It's always been three or four teams, right, but it's never felt further away. We just watched a 65 to 7 murder on TV, but it was also the largest game ever. Get, uh, next year, first we were complaining, oh, the playoff semifinal you know games be are bad. It'll be Bama, Georgia in the final. You know what? Here's the thing, and I know you don't want to hear this, but I do think that when they expand this, and teams have to go week after week after week. Injuries start playing a part in this thing. And I think that it will level the playing field even more. When there's 12 teams, it's going to wake me up when we get there. Okay, I'll All right, you. there's a guy we can contact right now and talk to about your auto accident injury. It's I'm David sure. Ferreninio. GetDavidGetPaid.com. When you call David, the consultation is free. He doesn't no, take a fee until you get paid. So. That's why when you're injured in Michigan, you get David to get paid. 25 years of results. Them, or doesn't smell like Nana, Nana Joe's face. He is ready to talk to you. 855-65-CRASH or go to the website at getdavidgetpaid.com. Those cans. I'm going to take those cans back this weekend. Other banks go out of their way to make redeeming yeah, credit put them cards in the black truck. needlessly complicated. Yeah. But Discover isn't like that. With Discover, you can redeem your rewards for cash driven it in any amount, at any time. Learn more at discover.com slash redeem rewards. Terms apply. Yeah. 
This is Jim Rome with an Odyssey Sports Minute sponsored by Angie. It's easier than ever to get home projects done well. Get started at Angie.com. Hey, Rams last, fan, last it has been a weeks. wild year, hasn't it? You've gone from that life of bleep them picks and ripping a Lombardi to becoming the worst defending champion in the sports history. And your genius oh, head coach, nothing. Sean McVay, is still once again on the fence nothing. about whether or not he wants to continue there. I'm oh, Jim nothing. Rome. Oh. Angie's list is now Angie, and we've heard a lot of theories about why. I thought it was an eco. Oh, last job. The worst in this paper. Oh, it was so you could oh, see it faster. Oh, no. Yeah. It's to be more iconic. It was the attack thing. But those aren't quite right. It's because now you can compare up front yeah. prices, book a so service instantly, and you can get your project handled from start to finish. It sounds easy. It is, and it makes us so much more than just a list. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or download the app today. My dad has a cold, but also has high blood pressure. That's why I got him Vicks so NyQuil we don't High Blood Pressure for fast, powerful nighttime relief. Unlike some ordinary cold medicines, it's specially formulated for people like my dad. NyQuil High Blood Pressure is sugar-free, alcohol-free, and decongestant-free. Vicks NyQuil High Blood Pressure. A nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, fever, sore throat, cold and flu for people with high blood pressure. Like my dad. Medicine. Use it directed. Football fans, call your own plays during the NFL playoffs with FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook. Because when you bet NFL same game parlays now through January 16th, all customers get up to $100 in free bets, win or lose. All you have to do is place a total of $20 or more on NFL SGPs or SGP Plus bets during the wild card round. The more you bet, the more you're going to get back in free bets. And NFL same game parlays are the perfect way to combine your bets for a chance at a larger payday. The beautiful thing is you can build your own or choose from one of the popular SGPs pre-built for you in FanDuel's top-rated sportsbook app. If you're new to FanDuel, you can also get up to $100 back in free bets, win or lose, when signing up with promo code Jansen and make every moment more with FanDuel, official sportsbook partner of the NFL. Must be 21 or over in present Michigan. Bonus issued is now with trouble. Free bets that expire seven days after receipt. Max free bet, 100 bucks. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fandle.com. Gambling problems? Call 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help. This is for the men who never settle. The ones who believe only quitters end a game and a tie. The type of guys who choose the bar with the biggest TVs to overcompensate for theirs at home. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Are you a fan of Twin Peaks? Sign up for our e-club to stay up to date on all things Twin Peaks and score free stuff. Signing up is easy. Just visit TwinPeaksRestaurant.com slash Peaks dash Club to get